Hi there, welcome back to our channel. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorial, we are going to learn the method of wrapping text and merging cells. We will also discuss the merits and demerits of merging cells. Lastly, I will elaborate the method of a very handy technique that is the use of center cross technique instead of merging cells. So without any delay, let's jump into it. Whenever you have too much cell content to be displayed in a single cell, you may decide to wrap the text or merge the cells rather than resize a column. Wrapping the text will automatically modify a cell's row height, allowing cell content to be displayed on multiple lines. Merging allows you to combine the cells with adjacent empty cells to create one large cell. Now let's first understand the concept of wrapping text. In our example, the addresses are too long to be contained in these cells, so we will apply the wrap text. For this purpose, first we have to select the cells that we want to wrap. In this example, I am going to select the column of address. After this, I have to click the wrap text command on the home tab. The text in the selected cell will be wrapped. Now if I click the wrap text command again, it will unwrap the text. The other method that you can use here is the auto fit. I have already explained this in my previous video in which I have told you that put your cursor on the column heading so that it changed to the double arrow and then double click it. So your cells are automatically adjusted according to your data. Now we are going to learn how we can merge the cells. To merge the cell, first we have to select the cell range that we want to merge. In our example, we want to merge the cells from A1 to E1. So I select this cell range. After this, I will click the merge and center command from the home tab. So your cells are merged and data is center cross. Now we are going to learn how we can access additional merge cells option. And now if you click the drop down arrow next to the merge cell command on the home tab, the merge drop down menu will appear. In this menu, we have four options. The first option is merge and center. This merges the selected cells into one cell and centers the text. The second option is merge across. This merges the selected cells into large cell while keeping the each row separate. Like in our example, if I select the cells in the first and the second row and select it across the E column and after this I will go to click this drop down menu and now select the merge across. Now you can see that the each row is merged separately. The third option in this menu is the merge cells. This merge the selected cells into one cell but do not center the text. And lastly we have the unmerge. This unmerge the selected cells. Be careful when using this feature. If you merge multiple cells that all contain data, Excel will keep only the content of the upper left cell and discard everything else. Merging cells can be useful for organizing your data, but it can also create problems later on. For example, it can be difficult to move, copy, paste the content from the merge cell. Like for example, if I want to move this address to the left, so I select this column and then press the cut command that is control X. So when I press the cut command, it gives me an error message that we cannot do that to a merge cell. So this is the difficulty that you may face if you are using the merge cell option. So I am going to unmerge all these cells. Now we are going to learn a very good alternate to the merging cell that is use of center cross selection which creates similar effect without actually combining the cells. To use the center cross, 
first we have to select the desired cell range in our example i'm going to select the cells from a1 to e1 then we have to click the small arrow in the lower right corner of the alignment group on the home tab here a dialog box will appear then you have to locate the horizontal drop down menu select the center cross selection and then click ok the content will be centered across the selected cell range as you can see this creates the same visual result as merging and centering but it preserves each cell within a1 to e1 and there you have it if you found this tutorial helpful please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more excel tutorials thanks for watching and see you in the next video